Hey guys, Brewery602 Beer Reviews here, at Brewery602 on Instagram, my name is Marcus. And today I have a beer out of Russian River Brewing Company, located out of uh, Santa Rosa, California, and also Windsor, California. This is Pliny the Elder. It is a double West Coast style IPA coming in at 8% ABV. Now, obviously, uh, if you're a beer drinker, or craft beer lover, you know the label, you know what it is, um, you know the reviews that are on this beer. It is considered um, the precursor to all these uh, awesome West Coast style IPAs. It's kind of like the godfather, uh, the goat, you know, whatever you want to call it. Um, and to give it respect, I'm going to go ahead and read what's on the label. So I usually don't because, you know, who cares? But anyways, it says, if you must sit on eggs, not on Pliny. Do not save for a rainy day. Pliny is for savoring, not for saving. Consume Pliny fresh or not at all. And it says, uh, does not improve with age. Hoppy beers are not meant to be aged. Keep away from heat. Respect your elder. Keep cold. Drink fresh. Do not age. Pliny the elder is a historical figure. Don't make this beer inside the bottle one. So, obviously, uh, they want you to drink it fresh. <laughs> So this beer actually was uh, sent to me in a beer trade uh, from Carlos over at uh, the Beer Experience 360 on YouTube. Go check out his YouTube page. He does some really cool reviews. Uh, so Carlos, I do appreciate it, brother. Um, been wanting to try this beer for a long time. And so we did a little bit of beer trades up there in California. And he was able to find it and send it over to me. So without further ado, Pliny the Elder. Nice little hiss, a little bit of cannon smoke coming out of there. Let's get a pour on it. For you. Let me go ahead and uh, take a look at this beer here. It does come in, a, it looks unfiltered. It looks like an unfiltered um, gold color. It's pretty bright gold, maybe a little bit uh, darker than, you know, than gold, but looks very nice very 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 tight compact white bubbles on this so very well carbonated beer kind of go up into a little bit of a sudsy bubble looks fantastic in the glass let me get a drive-by aroma so the drive-by is a real clean uh you know pine uh, grapefruit there's a little bit of floral character in there as well yeah you, you know um Clean is a very descriptive, I guess, term for this because it is super, super clean. Um, it, you could tell there's a really good balance between the malt and the hops. Uh, the hops do come off as being like the, a grapefruit, you know, your typical West Coast kind of style. There's a, that grapefruit kind of thing going on, that pine kind of thing going on. There's some floral notes in there as well. Um, and maybe a little bit of like that... Uh, even like grapefruit, uh, the, the rind on the grapefruit, some to that effect that kind of sprays in there. You get a deeper aroma. A little bit of a, a bready, uh, crackery kind of malt going on in there as well. Um, kind of detect the presence of like a crystal malt, which is like perceived as a little bit of a caramel type kind of thing. It's very light, but you could tell it's kind of in there to help balance out the hops. Yeah, but overall, the... Uh, the pine character in this beer is very, very nice. Uh, you can tell it's really well balanced and really well made, but let me get a taste on it. Cheers. Just smooth. I mean, it's 8% ABV. It's like extremely well balanced. So, Sometimes when you go into that double IPA, it gets overly sweet or overly bitter. Um, one or the other. Usually it, it's, it's hard to get a balance. This is extremely well balanced. Very smooth. The malt character just is just enough with that just enough residual sweetness to balance out the hops used. Um, again, there's no lingering, bittering aftertaste. That bitterness kind of hits you real quick and then fades, um, like very, very pleasing bitterness. 
it's not harsh it's not astringent at all um actually it's uh unusual because it's very pleasing usually some of these west coast aggressively hopped ipas are stringent they're drying and, and you kind of like you know it's good it's really bitter you keep drinking it and you know you kind of get used to it this one here there is no bitterness um that stays in your mouth so it's easy to drink for eight percent that's kind of scary It's just, yeah, smooth. Smooth and clean, extremely well executed. It's basically the BJCP guideline for IPA. I think this matches the guideline, I mean, perfectly. It's, it's bitter, it has a really nice grapefruit and pine character to it. The malt backbone is balanced out perfectly. I hate using balance all the time, but this is a balanced beer. Um, and just fantastic. Uh, as far as the score is concerned, uh, I'd probably go 98 on it. I'd give it a 98. Um, just so, so smooth. Yeah, pretty hard to, to complain about this beer. So I'd go a 98. This is, you know, Russian River, Pliny the Elder. Carlos, thank you very much for this beer, my brother. Maybe we'll have to do another trade for some more bottles of this stuff because it is fantastic. My name is Marcus. It's Brewery602 Beer Reviews, at Brewery602 on Instagram. Please like, follow, and subscribe. Cheers.